This is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon, and today I'd like to give you another sneak peek of version 2, which is in the latter stages of development, and which we should be ready for beta testing here in a few weeks, probably by about the end of the month of July. So really, three things I wanted to point out today amongst the many things on my screen here, but obviously, first of all, we've talked about the need to go slower than 50%. Got a preset here that goes to 20, and we can actually go all the way down to 10%. So that's one thing that's obviously very important and very powerful. The second thing is the ability to zoom in. So as you can see here, we can zoom in many, many, many times. So you get much magnification here, which allows you to see what's being played, as well as to slow it down so you can hear it and also see it at that slower speed. And then, of course, the last thing that really comes into play here is the ability to set up looping areas down here. So when you combine these three things, what you end up doing is slowing something down, zooming in so you can see it, and then having it play repetitively. And those three things in combination make for a very, very powerful tool. Now, this looping feature at the bottom is not something I've showed you before, and I'd like to just illustrate a couple of things with it real quickly. The first is that you can set up a, an infinite number of loops within a single file. So if you have two areas that you want to focus on, or 10, you can set those up. The other thing is that each loop can be configured or customized individually. So if we go over here to the loop controls area, select edit, you can see that for this loop, we've got the starting loop point here at 1 minute 16 seconds. Uh, the ending at 131, the pitch is unchanged, the tempo is at 50%. We can put in that we want it to loop once or 999 times, which for all practical purposes is infinite here. We can put in a delay such that when we hit the end of the loop, it will pause for five or 10 seconds in case you want to sort of regroup your, your thoughts or get your fingers ready again to do this again. And you can do this for every single loop. So this one we can set it at 50%. We can go to the next one here and we look at it and it's set up at 75%. And again, the loop count and the delays can be different for that as well. This again is just a very brief overview of the program. There are lots of neat features here. We'll go into all of them in detail as we move forward here, but I just wanted to let you take a look at this and give you a progress update. So with that, uh, we'll be in touch soon. Thanks.